Hi, I'm the Cool Loser, and this is the Canon SX60HS. Holy moly, look at that zoom, incredible. As I was saying, this is the review of the Canon SX60 HS. It's gonna be a quick one, and while I show you my unboxing, I'm gonna talk about what I'm really gonna show you in this video. I'm not gonna go into picture quality, but I am going to show you some video samples. Half of this video is gonna be all about that. And the first half is gonna be talking about the camera and what it looks and how it works. But let me tell you the story of why I got this camera. I have this huge vision of me one day being able to record aliens. Because you know all those videos that everyone puts up and they use, you know, camera phones or other digital cameras that don't zoom very far. And you can never really get all that detail because it's too far when you crop in. It's just not detailed enough. With this camera, I can have it in handy so in case I ever run into something like that, I can like zoom into their faces of the aliens or whatever the object's going to be far away obviously. It's a dumb little vision but it would be very smart to have this camera. Obviously that would be my preference of use. Other than the zooming capabilities I love that it has a microphone input and the flip screen is a must have because I can have it in any angle. I can do a self portrait mode. I can raise the camera really high or I can lower it way down and still have that viewing angle out of the screen. And if you don't want to use the screen or it's too bright outside you can use the viewfinder which honestly I personally would not use it only because I rely on using the screen for all those multi angles that I do. Now keep in mind this is a point and shoot camera it isn't a DSLR but it does have pretty good options and features that normal DSLRs can do. This SX60 now has NFC so you can transfer videos and files to your phone wirelessly and it also does Wi-Fi so you can control some of the functions with an application on your phone and as I was saying before I'm not gonna go through the menu system which you can see on my thumb I'm using the navigation wheel or should I say buttons. The buttons are a little flat but again I won't be having to use these buttons very much because everything I really need a camera for is for video taking. So this video is concentrated on video and zooming. So now let's get some test samples for you. Enjoy. The zooming is 65 optical, which means it's actually zooming in that close. But once you get to digital zoom, it's just zooming into the photo closer. It's not really zooming further. It's just zooming into the video. I hope that makes sense. But I have that option just in case I want to get that much closer. But if you can tell, if you go into digital zoom, you get really grainy results and it doesn't look very nice. So keep it at 65 and you'll always have very sharp, great quality videos. I'm going to tell you a little bit where I'm at. I am at a lake called Hag Lake and it is here in Oregon. We got a lot of green trees in this state. So anyways, I came out here because there's a lot of landscape and far distance I can zoom into. And there's certain people that I can, you know, start zooming in and, you know, recording, being a creep. Yes, this camera would work for spying on people. With that said, the fact that you're super zoomed in, this camera has a very good optical image stabilizer. What that does is give you a steady shot. It's not going to make all your videos shaky or photos shaky, so less blur, less shake. Okay, in this scene, this is at 65x. This is the max zoom. But then I'm gonna go into digital zoom, which is just zooming into the video, and you can see it gets a little grainer, but I am getting closer, so it's still not bad for as close as digital will get. When you get into digital, you can get up to 240x <laughs> zoom. And I zoom out a little bit, and then I notice something. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> naughty naughty. Here I'm gonna be quiet so you can listen to the audio. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. That's cute. That's 65 optical. And then we start going to digital zoom, which is just zooming into the picture. It's not really going closer now. And you will notice that the lens zooming in does not make any noise. And that's 65, 58, 42, 24, 15, 9, 5, 3, 2, 1. Oh my god, that's crazy. Mm 
I but am this so is in love this is at 65. This is full optical, and then we're gonna go into digital. <gasps> oh my! Like, I'm gonna love your camera so much when there's a full moon. Oh my god! I've never Let's seen the I moon can... that cool. Let's see if there's any spaceships or my alien fellows out there. No. This is one, 104, 85, 65. That is the best thing ever. Calm down. Cal, the moon is my favorite thing in the whole entire planet. I think it's safe to say that the zooming is amazing. I'm happy with it. But now let's put the zooming to a side and do some closer shots. And I'll start off with the little night scene here. As you should know, cameras aren't meant for recording at nighttime unless you're spending thousands on cameras that are able to see as good as our eyeballs or using lights or you have infrared or night vision features for your camera or enhancements that you can do on your editing skills. But if you're like me, you're gonna do something simple and just record and all you have to do is just point and shoot and it does it all for you automatically. It does have manual options so you can do it all individually like DSLR cameras. But in this case, for this camera, I wouldn't want to do manual focusing. As for, I have my other cameras that I have all that manual setup for. This is the only thing I like better than DSLR cameras. Zoom in to super close objects without having to scare anything away. Wait. Go. Of course, I'm impressed with the zoom. And also, the audio recording is really nice. Again, I've covered all the zooming capability, but like I was trying to tell you is that I don't have to get super close to get to my objects. I could be as far as I can and you can see that I won't scare anything away or I have to get stung or bit by anything. I can be, you know, far distance and get my shot that I would like with nice clarity. I can see all those bugs, I can see bees and they're not gonna get scared by me like I said again. But this camera's not gonna be for everybody. If you're looking for like changing lenses or better, even better quality or video, this is not the best option. As for why I went to Sony cameras, is because they record better, in my opinion, for what I like, because they record in AVC HD and their form factor, they're really small and compact, while you can interchange all these lenses for them. But we're not here to talk about other cameras other than just kind of relate to it. But what I'm trying to say here is that this camera would only serve me a purpose of zooming in closely with one fixed lens that you cannot exchange on this body of the camera. I already have two Sony NEX5R cameras and that's what I'm sticking to. The only thing is that they don't zoom far at all and you have to buy expensive, really expensive lenses to even make it halfway to what this camera can do on one lens and one body already. Which is why the SX60HS is a super power zoom camera that I approved and obviously showed you guys what it can do and how amazing the quality still retains. But in all honesty, this camera costs $500 at this moment of this video. And since I'm cheapo because I don't have a lot of funding or money to pay for all this stuff, I go to Best Buy, I buy, I try, I exchange, I return, and I'm convinced that Best Buy hates me because I've been there so many times returning items but they've never gave me any trouble. And I'm happy to have a credit card open with them to make this possible. You know, instead of me having to spend money that I do not have, uh, credit cards actually help me big time to make these videos happen. And of course, sharing to the people who want to discover new, you know, technology as far as cameras and mobile phones and apps and whatever I do for this channel. It doesn't have to be just about Android. It's going to be about products that will, you know, help you in your tech life. So the conclusion is in reality I do not need this camera other than to record my alien UFOs but let's be real they know I want to record them and they're gonna keep us far away from me since I don't have the money to keep buying all these products I will return it and once it gets cheaper or something better comes out or I make some more money up, I'm gonna be on one of these and having them ready hey. for whenever they slip up I'm gonna catch them. Alright I'm done here guys 
I want to thank you guys for watching and supporting the show. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Later. <laughs> Subscribe now and find my Sony Alpha A6000 review. That's another camera that you might want to take a look at. So go do it to it.